The Supreme Court and the Government of India have finally paved the way for India's suspension to be lifted and the Under-17 World Cup should now proceed according to plan. After the court's order, the Honourable Court's order yesterday, it is now evident that the COA has to give way. Elections will be conducted and a new democratically elected All India Football Federation will come into existence by the 5th of September. So clearly, Indian football will be back on track. While we celebrate this, thought must go to the Gokulam Kerala FC women. Girls who travelled to Uzbekistan, travelled to Tashkent to play, unfortunately were not allowed to play and have now been forced to come back. They are currently in Delhi, all awaiting their flights to Chennai in the afternoon. Team CEO Ashok Kumar has already left for Chennai this morning. Look at these visuals of these distressed ladies. We keep talking about mental health in sport. Can we please spare a thought about what their mental health at this point in time is like? They traveled with a vision, they traveled with a dream. Unfortunately, they have come back with their dream shattered. So what happened to them? Were they a sacrificial pawn in this whole game? Why did they suffer? Can we alleviate their suffering? Who is responsible for this? As the apex court and the government of India solves the problem, do we even need to think about these girls? Will anybody compensate them for the misery, for the trouble, for the trauma? Will anybody talk about their mental health? The jury is out.